guys, so I have now been in the US since September, so that's about five months, I think. September, October, November, December, January, yeah, five months. And one of the most common questions that I get is, oh, how is America? How do you like the experience? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Um, and previous to this, I've lived almost my entire life in London, and I spent a few years studying in Oxford, but um, for anyone who knows the UK, that's about 40 minutes away from London, so it's not really that much of a stretch to kind of go back home very regularly. And so I thought I would make this video about the top four things that I found about America. The first thing to say is that this is very much about my own experience here in Cambridge, Massachusetts. I'm attending Harvard Law School, and so this is about the people that I've met, the experiences that I've had. There's no way that one experience can kind of be representative of everyone's experience here in America. I think there are 320 million people, and you guys know how big the country is. And so this is very much about my unique, small, isolated experience. The first thing to mention is the enthusiasm. I really think the enthusiasm that people carry around here is infectious. Now, I know that the Northeast of America, or New England in general, has kind of the reputation of being perhaps the coldest or the least friendly part of America, but that definitely hasn't been the case in my experience over the last five months. I've really found it interesting how even tiny or isolated interactions tend to be very warm, or very friendly, um, and even when you're kind of walking down the pavement and you pass a dog walker, they greet you with a level of familiarity that you wouldn't expect in other countries. Or when you go to a shop, the cashier asks you questions that imply some level of friendship, and I love it. I think it's good when I compare and contrast it to sometimes the London Tube, and if any of you have been on the London Underground, if you kind of make eye contact with anyone, that people start like shifting and thinking that you're a lunatic. And so I'm finding this refreshing, I like it, I think this is one of the best parts of my experience so far. The second thing I love most about America is the work ethic. Now I know that's a bit of a controversial one because many people probably would put that in the negatives column, but I love it. And maybe this is specific to the law school that I'm attending, but people don't have another option. Excellence is kind of expected of you, and doing the bare minimum is almost not a thing. It's almost not a thing. Whether it's with your academic work, or your extracurriculars, or your sports, these people take it seriously. And the saying about how your environment raises you, or the people around you raise you, that's been the case. I've been really inspired by the level of discipline and work that I've seen from the people around me and I've been very grateful to be kind of infected by that bug and I've worked harder since I have been here. The third reason that I love America is that people here generally tend to care about where you're going rather than where you come from. Now I know that's a bit of a subtle thing to explain but especially when I compare it to parts of Europe there's a great sense here that people are interested in where you want to end up and not what kind of school you went to or who your parents are. Whereas I know that in parts of Europe, for example, and of course other parts of the world, your parents or your postcode where you were born or the school you attend before you were 10, it kind of dictates the outcome of your life. And I'm sure to an extent there are inequalities like that here, but there is a real sense that people are very interested in helping you get to where you want to go and they don't really care about where you've been. So the fourth reason that I've really enjoyed my experience here in America is that there seems to be an acknowledgement and a rewarding of excellence. And what I mean by that is that no matter what you are doing, whether you're in academia or you're in sports or you're a student or whatever you're doing, there seems to be so many avenues to reward you and acknowledge your hard work and your success. And if I was to compare it here, there really seems to be an emphasis on helping you or acknowledging when someone gets to an excellent level or becomes the best at something. And that's very much a goal that people want to strive towards. Whereas in other cultures and other countries I've seen, there seems to be more of an emphasis on kind of blending in or not standing out too much or doing things the way that things have always been done. 
So I find this very refreshing, that kind of, no matter how you do it, as long as it involves a lot of hard work and as long as it's within the rules, there seems to be so many ways that excellence is acknowledged. So those are four reasons that I really enjoyed my experience here. And I know that probably sounded like some sort of American propaganda movie, uh, but I can also do a video about things that I found slightly strange, but I really hope you enjoyed that insight. But once again, I'd like to say that I'm at a very particular law school, I'm studying in Cambridge, I'm in the Northeast of America, and so this is very much not meant to be representative, and nor could it be. There's no way that only one experience could represent all of America. And so I really hope you enjoyed my insight, and if you want similar videos, please let me know.